Have you ever seen people walking with their toes pointed outwards? This is why it happens and this is why it can limit your hip mobility. So the person walking like that is usually missing internal rotation and pronation of the foot. That's when the whole leg turns inwards and that arch flattens down. So in turn, they actually live in external rotation where their hips turn outwards and on the outside edge of their foot or a higher arch position of their midfoot. And what that does is it allows them as they traverse forward through the foot to actually capture the inside edge of that foot. It's really important during mid stance, which is during the gait cycle, when I am standing with all my weight on top of my leg and my other leg swinging through, when my body's completely centered over top of one leg, that's called mid stance. It's really important for my body to capture internal rotation and pronation during that. If I don't have the options at my hips and feet, my body will turn my feet outward. So as I pass by that cycle, I'm capturing the inside edge of my foot because of the positioning of my foot. If my foot is faced forward and I can't capture the inside edge of my foot, I'm just going to lay on the outside. But if I turn my foot outwards this way, what you'll notice is as I pass through the foot forward, I have to roll through the inside edge. So what that'll do is it'll allow this person to have a compensatory action to actually support some weight on their leg and complete their gait cycle. But now what happens is this person over time will keep losing the key abilities of having internal rotation at the hip and pronation at the foot, which down the line can cause some issues if this person requires those motions. So if you see somebody put it out that way, you want to regain their ability to internally rotate their hip and pronate that foot.